Hello, hello YouTube. My name is Mitzer and welcome to some Pokemon Violet. I know it's been a while since I've recorded any sort of video on my channel and the last thing I recorded was Digimon Survive. And I was going to complete that playthrough, but I just was not having the most fun with the game and it was really not what I was expecting. It was in my opinion too heavily story based even though it was supposed i get it was supposed to be a visual novel but it's not exactly what i was hoping for anyway we're gonna focus on pokemon not digimon because this game is supposed to be really really hype i'm really hyped for it there's a lot of new mons there's a lot of interesting things for competitive which i will be doing videos on in the future because there's a lot of mods that i want to try out there's a lot of new interesting mechanics that i want to try well not really new mechanics but like for example hail got a lot of changes and i'm super excited for that and oh we're gonna start this uh professor introduction usually i guess he might be our professor uh with a palmy showcase a little palmy showcase thing okay so this is interesting that thing literally looks like a mushroom from mario oh okay okay my first look at the one of the new tauros forms now, mind you, I have seen very, very little from this game. Um, I know of a few things, but for the most part, I have no idea what things look like. I And I have no idea what happens in the story. The only thing I know about story is... There's, like, no real direct story path. You can go three different ways. Early route bird, I would assume. Those Tauros still look clean. Ooh, yes, the flamingo, the flamingo. Flying all over the region. Oh, oh. Hey, yo. Man's looking like a chat on. Hopefully they have some sort of relation. I, I'm pretty sure those are just two completely different mons. It's not like a... It's not like a chat on regional form. Now, mind you, I did all my, like, customization for my character and my naming and all that before uh, I started recording because that would have been a little n unneeded, tedious thing. Oh, I have to actually get up? It's not... It's, it doesn't do everything for me. Now, this is also not how I look. I just liked the look of this character. Or, like, the look that I did or made. So, I just went with it. Oh, okay. It doesn't give me... It's not yet ready to... What the... Come on. What's that about, Tommy? It's not yet ready to be picked up. Like, come on now, bruh. I do have quite the house though, not gonna lie. Like, oh, oh, wait, can I turn? Aw, oh, oh, come on. Didn't give me the ability to turn all the way. Though this is quite the snazzy house. Like, I'm liking this a hell of a lot more than 
um, the other houses that we used to have in the other games. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, our mom's looking mighty fine. What's she saying? Wait, what? I wasn't reading the thing. It's my own fault. Oh? We have a we have a front door and a back door. Let's go. Uh, don't forgive the intrusion. What do you mean? Bro, you can't just walk into the house and be like, yeah, don't forgive me for walking. Like, no. No. <laughs> what do you mean? He's the director of... I... Don't have a single clue on how to pronounce that. Uva? 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 I don't know. Mr. Clavel. That... No. That sounds... Oh, no. Hey, yo, he's hitting on our mom. He's looking to backdoor her. What? Uh... I didn't say anything. Um, I gotta start reading the text because I'm not paying attention at all. It's a uh, one thirty in the morning. I am fairly tired, but I'm too hyped to not play this game. So I just picked it up and played it. Hey, yo! He's actually look at the back door of our mom. Do I have to? I, I, he's even telling us to go upstairs. <laughs> Yo. That's Mr. Clavel ain't got no chill. He's literally looking to back door of our mom. He literally, he literally told us to go upstairs to pick up our stuff and so we can head off and not bother them. While he delivers the package. Alright, well, you know what? While you deliver, deliver said package to our mother. Oh. What am I supposed to... Oh. I was gonna say. I'm gonna leave you do your thing, big dog. And, you know, I'm gonna just walk out. Hey, yo, we got the same hair color. Maybe he's already my father. Huh? Well, actually, mine's a little darker. So it's kind of a mix of the two. Hey, yo, Father Clavel. I wonder where I get the green eyes from, though. I don't think his eyes were green. Wait, what did she say, though? I'm too focused on him, the narrative that I've been implying. Okay, I gotta follow him out. Well, yeah, I mean, I would hope so. That should have been the obvious. Let me know if my game audio, too, is like a little low. Because it seems like in my recording it is. But I could very well be wrong. Please tell me Mr. Clavel. Or Father Clavel I should say. Does not have green eyes. Hey, yo our starters. This is quite the uh, the way to get the, the show on the road there. So, I already know what starter I'm going to pick. Reason being is, for a while now, 
ever since Gen 5, I want to say, so like black and white, I've always and I've always ended up starting my game with the grass starter. And even if it wasn't the first time through, each time I genuinely completed the game for the for first time through was with the grass starter in all the games before that too. So I just make it kind of a tradition now to go with the grass starter. And now later on, some of you may dis be disappointed with the evolution. I don't know exactly what it looks like, but I know ideas of what it's what it's supposed to look like. So you know it may disappoint you later on or disappoint some of you later on that i uh, went with it but i i think i've got to stick with tradition anyway well quote unquote tradition and go with the grass starter that way i mean you, it's not like you guys have to pick it so but I've also seen its stats, and I, it's gonna do work, I'll say that. Huh? You know, maybe I should be reading these things? To, uh, to, you know, maybe figure out what the, what in the world I'm supposed to be doing. I swear to God, if I get into a trainer battle here, when I have no mons, I'm gonna be livid. Hey, yo, what? Oh. I thought. We get a slide crouch? Yo! Got the schlick moves! Also, sorry if I'm a bit loud compared to the game. So let me know about that too. Like, let me know if my game's low and let me know if I'm loud compared to the game. Oh, I gotta. Don't tell me I gotta chase him around. Oh no, this isn't. The, this is, These are the little cuts that were in the trailer. him jumping up and down for his little orange now initially I also was gonna go with Flake Coco for this playthrough but I like I said I'm gonna stick with tradition and go with um, damn it Sprigatito that way I can continue on with grass starters Only problem now is coming up with a name. He's gonna eat the br the bra. Only thing that could make this part better actually would probably be some voice acting. I right, do I get to actually? I right, do I get to actually pick my starter now? Our academy's newest, newest, <laughs> newest student, Mitsu. Even though he keeps calling me Massa, Massa Mitsu. Sure, I'll be friends with Nimona. I mean, she kind of cute anyway. I can't battle you with no mons. Neighbors and classmates. Hey, yo, let's sit in the back of the class together. Like I said, pick and sprig. Yes. Yes. Something I forgot to do was. <coughs> My bad, got a tickle there. Um, something I forgot to do is update my uh, text speed to fastest and all that. 
Now, as for Sprigatito's nickname, I don't have a necessarily good nickname for it. It is a boy as well. My brother has a cat named Toro, but that's not the best name in the world, so not not to say it's not a good name, but I don't think it suits Sprigatito in particular. Um but it is an option. I Mm, I'm not sure. See, I always hate doing this. I always hate taking up a lot of time here. Because... It shouldn't take me that long to come up with a nickname. You know what? In... Honor of my brother, I'll... Name it Toro. Because that's his cat's name. Oh, yes. Two cats, but I know for a fact his uh, his girlfriend is also going to be playing the game, and she's getting Sprigatito, and I assume she's naming it Aries because that's the name of the other cat they have. But it was the cat, like it was her cat initially. Um. So I'll just name it the name of their other cat, Toro. Listen to Mona. I get you got a heart on for battling, alright? But I'm gonna need you to settle down. Oh, do you pick the one that I'm weak to? Oh, you pick the one I'm strong against. This is interesting because this is the one I wanted to see as well. Because I do plan to do, I have two accounts on my Switch, and I want to do two playthroughs because I want to do two different teams. And I was planning to use Sprigatito in this one, like I said, and then use Quaxley in my other one. Because I had a really good name for Quaxley. And that name, if you guys watch One Piece, and you can make the connection of its hairdo, I was going to name it Ducky D. Trump. Now, for people who don't get the reference, in One Piece, the main character's name is Monkey D. Luffy. And, you know, since the since Quaxley is a duck, I, I was going to say use Ducky instead of Monkey, and then put the D for the reference, and then Trump because his hair looks like Trump's hairdo. In all honesty, he looked because when I first saw it and I first saw him from the leaks, a lot of the leaks were saying Trump Duck, and I loved the name. So ever since then, I just went with Ducky D. Trump. Ooh, okay. Okay, I like this UI. See, if she's had Pokemon battles before, I would assume she's already had Pokemon, or she already has Pokemon. So I'm interested to see what the rest of her team technically would have been. Also, super convenient that we start out with Leafage. Neighbor, 
Hey, yo, $300? We robbed her of her monies. Her pocket change. We taken it all. Give me them toes. Give me them coins. Is Mr. Clavel impressed? Is Father Clavel impressed? Same, we gotta be weary of me already. Damn, giving me a lot of credit. Let's battle again soon. Yeah. Her face actually like visually lit up when I when that answer came out. Now granted I don't know if that would have been the same thing if I said the other answer, but I just kinda like that answer more. And I'm all kind of cute, so gotta build a good relationship, am I right? <laughs> Pokédex app. All right. I am probably going to end the episode right after this little uh, narrative semi cutscene thing. I don't even know. So she's going to navigate us to the. Uh, damn it. Academy. And I like that he's taking in Foy Coco. Because that makes me think we're going to battle him wait later on. And he's going to have Foy Coco. Like, fully evolved. But, yeah, on the note of the... Nimona taking off. I'm going to save my game here. And I will see. Well, get it. End the episode here. My lord. Been, what, two months fumbling over the outro. Anyway. End the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like and that subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. algorithm. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to have a good one. Peace.